Oh, I pressed a button to start my recording, <laughs> and it did something in the game. It's fine. Nothing broke, right? Good, good, good. All right, so before we press onward through the Queen's Mansion, there's one thing I want to do. I'm just going to take the hit here, just for expediency's sake. But even this is a little chuggy. What is going on? Pottery not respected. So this is easy to miss. Yeah, heck jars. Hate pottery. Get wrecked. Stupid face. She will destroy all of them if you let her. And it's beautiful. I love Susie. We can help her, of course. You get no tangible reward from this. Oh, I guess we, we ruined her streak because I kicked one. Well, whatever. And if you go one more room... Oh, she's going back for it. Sorry, Susie. There's a, uh, a swatch desperately trying to clean up after this task here. That's also very easy to miss. There's some other stuff you can get if you backtrack through the city. Go to town, Suze. Um, but I feel like I'm already starting a little late today, so I'm not going to do it. Maybe afterwards we can do some backtracking, since I have that alternate save file. Is it cute? I don't know if cute is the word I'd use for it. Honestly, I'm surprised we only took one hit either way. Okay. So, um, last time I went into the basement and I got this empty disc. A data disc from a strange machine. Didn't someone want this? So before I forget, let's deliver that. Let's go to the trash zone, which is where I live. Careful, Susie or Birdly will want to talk to you for hours on end about The Legend of Zelda. Man, I love Zelda, and Birdly, I feel, would single-handedly torpedo my adoration of that series. Just having to listen to him talk. Having to listen to him talk. Anyway, whatever. Hey, every... It's me, Spanton G. Spanton! Chris, you did it! You funky little worm! You brought me the disc! Hochi mama! I can feel that smooth taste already! Now, Chris, don't be greedy. Hand over the disc. Then we will transfer my hyperlink blocked. Then, Chris, after, this is very, very important. Go back and put the disc back where you got it. Do that, and you have my special guarantee. I will pass my savings on to you. Every big, every shot, every hyperlink blocked, all yours, Chris. So what do you say, big shot? Warning, if you consent to the terms and agreements, our store is permanently closing down. Turning down a beloved stranger. That's not very big shot of you, Chris. Finally, I knew you would request accepted. Chris, here I go. Begin the transfer. Huh. The phone's gone. I like this music. Do you recognize this melody? Do you recognize it? Sure you do. I really love Toby Fox's use of recurring late motives in his music. Hello, Trashy. Goodbye, Trashy. The music's a little quiet. Oh, do you need me to turn up the game volume? I mean, the music in there is actually quite quiet anyway, but can you hear this clearly? I will turn it up if you need it. It's important you can hear the great tunes. Um, it's 
the melody from the world revolving, which is Jevil's battle theme. Anyway, so I have the loaded disc. You can feel it smiling in your hands, but I'm not going to deliver it just yet because I believe there is some extra dialogue if I wait a little while. Now I have to remember which way I'm going. Hey, Hackerman. I'm retiring from hacking the mainframe. I decided to use my powers for the good of society. I'm going to reverse engineer the code to super smashing fighters so I can put my favorite cartoon characters into the game. Hacking is hard work. Ooh, I need to drink a JPEG of water. He's using the app that lets you drink water from your phone. I feel like my voice is somehow failing me today. <laughs> Blech. I'm sure it's fine. But if I sound a little hoarse, that's why. My voice was... Rather, my throat was giving up on me in the weekend. <laughs> you know, he's using the... You know those novelty apps on your phone where you can, like, pretend to drink a beer or something? I really want to hit those, but I shouldn't. You know, I, I did... Oh, my controller's a little chuggy. No, we're good. I got dinged up a lot on the more complicated teacup ride in the basement, and I realized it's because I was using up and down to move when you should be using left and right. I'm a ding-dong. Anyway, welcome to the second floor dinner party section A. Please help yourself to anybody's food. Psst. Hey, it's me, the hacker. No one figured it out, but it's me. Keep it on the download. Is that like a wig stuck on your pointer? All right. Oh, I can't eat it though. This guy keeps telling everyone at the party he's a hacker. I don't know what to do with this information. You ever have that where somebody you don't even know tells you something too personal and you're like, I don't know what to do with this information. That's what that feels like. Yes, yes, Queen is right. Send error report, send error report. Delicious. Couldn't agree more. Send error report. Send error report. I am Mouse Million. I stand leagues and inches above all the other mice. Only Nooper remains above me still. Why is everybody wearing a wig? It's so close and yet so far. I'm gonna move the mic a little closer. Because I feel like, okay, hopefully that's better. Nooper's moving up in the world. Nooper, you're already at the top. Where's there to go? Uh, I would love a bomb. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Reminds you of when you dip a baby carrot into hummus and it looks like it has a blonde wig. What is going on here? So while I'm going through the mansion, I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, is this a shortcut? Left. Shortcut to first floor. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Um. Yeah, gosh, I wish I had anything interesting to say, but my weekend was, I wasn't feeling too great for a big part of it. Um. I got for, I got an hour long walk in on Sunday, though. I started feeling better, so that was good, and I spent a long time playing Persona 4. <clears throat> I beat up the Reaper, though. That was exciting felt powerful. What's in here? What are you doing? Oh me, oh my. The kitchen is infested with vermin. I knew we should have properly finished dumping all the cheese in that alleyway. Ouch, ouch. The mouse can get me up here. Even if the ouch, ouch, stove is burning my feet. You all say the same thing? M -m 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 mouse and it's not wearing a wig! Hi. You're gonna make the stove all dirty if you melt the cheese? Okay. Mouse wheel spins into you! Hmm. Let's see what your actions are. Two mice are better than one. Three, maybe not. The cursor will follow you everywhere. Keep moving! Susie got on all fours and chased the mouse around the room like an animal. 
Ralsei started putting peanut butter on a spoon and put it in a trap. Susie was captured. Susie! The hell are you blaming me for? You made the trap! I'm no cheater. It's just cheese. Susie, did you go out of your way for a spoonful of peanut butter? Yeah, you would. You would. Smells like a three cheese pizza. Let's catch. Oh, it's so many Mises. Wired is faster. Bro, the lag. Oh, what is going on here? So apropos of nothing, how about that Nintendo Switch expansion, huh? <laughs> I thought if I mashed it, it would be more efficient. It was not. We are grippable. We are many. I've just been hearing horror stories about how poorly, oops, the games have been emulating. Like things in Ocarina of Time not rendering correctly, or um, I saw a crash happen in Kakariko Village. And also, the uh, the usual slideshow effect you get when you try and play some stuff online. Like, I don't have, um... Oops, what am I doing? Uh, Mario Maker 2. Mouse wheel is rolling around with an annoying wheel sound. But I've heard, while the online multiplayer is good in theory, um, uh, it's so pokey that it winds up being like a slideshow, basically. Which is such a shame, because racing through custom levels with people sounds like a lot of fun. You did not and will not get it. The pain Yoshi singing. Oh, man. I don't have a link to it handy right here. It's still rolling out of control. Suddenly. Oh. We'll take it from here. Thanks. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, there's a clip of um, the uh, Yoshi story of the little e -e -o, e -e -o. That song that they sing between levels played through the Switch Online Expansion Pack emulator and it's a choppy nightmare. <laughs> Thanks for the help. We'll open up the East Dining Hall now. Ouch, ouch. How do I get down from here? Hi, Theta. I beat up the Reaper in Persona 4. Queen's making us prepare a massive feast for her upcoming guests. I wonder if people can really eat platters, though. If you put your mind to it, it's a lot of iron, right? Maybe I should go back and heal? Nah. It's fine. It's fine. With how easy N64 emulation is, you have no interest in the expansion pack? I mean, N64 emulation is still messy. Which makes you wonder how they're going to handle something like Paper Mario, because even that doesn't quite emulate right. Is there anything in here? Oh, thank you. It's locked. What's with this giant empty room, anyway? Welcome to my extravagant dining bonanza. Only one of these delicious platters has the key. I am sure searching will be an addicting game of chance. How the hell are we gonna search all these? Get eaten, Suze. The decompile thingy is almost done. Oh. Error. Results. Key not found. Did you mean give up? All oh, the platters got mixed up again? Come on. Anyway, N64 ROM modding is gonna open up. I've seen YouTube keeps recommending me Paper Mario mods, which looks cool. Still? Hey, Chris, isn't there something else we can do? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hey, there's something under this one. Don't try to run away, little... Hey, wait a sec! I love Ralsei's face. <laughs> if you're going to be playing a choppy mess of an N64 emulator, you'd rather go with the free option. Ooh! There's the key! Now we just have to... It broke it? Toby! 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> Was that awesome or what? Um, maybe minus the blatant destruction. Let's go, Chris! We're almost at the third floor! The blatant destruction is the best part! The Supreme Table. You won't be able to use this without the Throne of the Gods. Like the Throne of the Gods in the Kindergartner classroom? No, I want... I want it! I bet Susie wants it most of all. <laughs> oh, sorry. Swatchlings bowed in. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna have Chris warmify. Oh, hang on. Can I... Pick the wrong target. Let's warmify this one. And I'm gonna have Susie half warm the yellow one. And or I'll say I guess you're just gonna twiddle your thumbs. Susie mentions explosions. Oh, healing. Oh, I missed the healing. Smells like paint and feathers. Okay, let's have Chris warm this one. And Susie's gonna warm this one. And I don't have enough for healed prayer, so you're just gonna sit tight, Ralsei. Oh, I guess never mind. They're sparable. Had it in my head Susie was not gonna get there yet. Oh well. The Swatchlings that relieved their wardrobe has been coordinated. What baffles you is Nintendo keeps changing their N64 emulation. On Switch, it's different from Wii U, which is different from Wii. Yeah, it's... I don't know what they're doing. What is in here? Oh, you fall! Oh, Chris is gonna get obliterated. I can't open the menu! Man. I can't use the butt juice. That's sacred. I don't know if I get anything for, like, activating all the UFOs, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ow. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it! Ow. Live, Ralsei. Cool. Inside was Glow Shard. Oh. I guess I can sell that to get money for items I'm not gonna use. Uh -huh. It's just a cash grab, that's why. Yeah. What is going on here? I mean, it's really disappointing because, in theory, I like the fact that I could play N64 games. I'm gonna have to heal. Online. Um. Oops. <laughs> I just saw Susie say, quit hogging, and I miss what Ralsei said. Um. But being able to play N64 games online is really cool in theory, especially for stuff like... <sighs> okay, my controller's being a little chuggy here. Mario Kart or Mario Party. Um, or even like classic Smash Bros would be good. S Susie. Um, but yeah, the fact it's... I guess I didn't have to heal. The fact it's so subpar performance rise is really, really disheartening. I am not coherent today at all. Wow. <laughs> There's a book here about preventing backtracking. No, I wanna- what if I wanna go back? The knight created the fountain and this world. It might be even more powerful than queen for now. The queen has been very interested in this video recently, for the knight creates the fountain by its own hand. Well, it's that and Cyber City's funniest home videos. She would. This is today's dinner entertainment. I've heard it's called The Birth of a Fountain. What an elegant name. How elegantly exotic. I haven't had to say that word out loud in a while. We are often forced to star in those videos. I'm so sorry. It's a video of someone creating a strange pillar of smoke. There's so much smoke, it's hard to tell who it is. Why bother with that small potatoes healing when you have Susie's godlike healing abilities at your disposal? Yes, I see him. Yes, I'm stalling. What do you want? Chris, Susan, glad to see you arrived unwounded. 
Now, let us hasten. Through here is a secret passageway to the roof. There, we can enrescify Lady Noelle. Uh, okay. Let's go, Chris. Oh, Chris. Chris is... Chris, you and your lackey distract queen. Let's go, Susie. Just the two of us. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Rip in pieces. Chris, do you think of me as your lackey? Of course I do. Really? I I'm... I'm happy to hear that. I've never been someone's lackey before. Please don't look so pleased, Ralsei. That's just depressing. Susie has gone into a book hole with Birdly. You are filled with the power of book holes. Poor Suze. What is in my storage? Hmm. But look at all this stuff that I'm not using. Oh, I have more butt juice. Oh yeah, I have poison too. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Let me stir that glow shard. What do, what do I need? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sell that. Okay. I feel like it says its value increases each chapter, but I feel like it's gonna pull some sort of nonsense where it's gonna become absolutely worthless if you wait the maximum length of time. There's a book here about secret secret passageway construction. Why do I do that? You do not like the word comp of a book hole. I don't think anyone does. Let's not go there yet. That looks like for a, for a word. The statue of Birdly is wedged in the toilet. You glance back at the bathroom door sign. The sign is a silhouette of a Birdly statue. Everything checks out. No problem here. Which is an Earthbound reference, I believe. When you examine something and it says no problem here, God, those crocs, hello. What are they going to be done in there? Ralsa, you're so Omega, you went full circle and became Alpha. <laughs> a, a giant lake of acid? Oh, you mean the free pool. You will learn to love it like family. Why do you have this? It is my mansion's energy source and fun to drink. Bye. <laughs> How... Should we pass this? Start swimming, buddy. No. Oh. I suppose this works. <laughs> All right. Now we have to think of some way to distract Queen. Oh, wow. I'm so distracted right now. Yep. What are these little houses? Just tropical villas for my guests. Isn't that thoughtful? How would anybody fit inside? Shrink from the acid. Chris, get the banana. Chris isn't gonna do what you say. No, potassium. Th that's okay, Chris. It's good for you. Mm, yum, 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 potassium. You wish turning all the houses blue did something? Oh yeah, me too. I definitely did that my first time through and thought I'd get something for it, but no. Uh, looks like we're coming up on a tunnel. Keep your paws to yourself, fluffy boy. Oh, banana. What is this? <laughs> uh, huh? There's something blocking the way. Maybe we can find some way to get rid of this? A giant hand. Sure would be nice to be pet by something like that. It would obliterate you instantly, Ralsei, but maybe that's what you're into. Looks like a certain bird is having a ride on the acid river. Squeak. This music, I believe, is the same melody as when you create a machine to thrash your own ass. Let's see. What is down here? What 
What? What? What is that? I don't like it. Hi. What's up? Thank you for your help. I had gone up there to do a little house cleaning and got stuck. <sighs> I can't push him in the river. Ugh. Bad. Terrible. I came all this way for a bad joke. Okay. We go. This castle looks like it has worn many sieges. It's mine now. No, not the Birdly statue. You monsters. You blew it up. Damn you all. Damn you all to the Acid River. Actually, it might be more expedient if I do this. Here we go. So has anyone heard anything about the new Mario Party? Like, any reviews? I haven't looked anything up yet. Some of the mini-games I've seen that are coming back make me happy to see. A revive dust. I will take that in my storage. It seems that peace has returned to the castle. But the presentation does look a little sterile compared to earlier Mario Parties. But I guess that's just the way Nintendo's been doing things lately. A friend earlier described it as uh, the company being very Disney in their approach to things lately. Like, focusing on making this squeaky clean, homogenous brand instead of having fun and trying new things. Please set your developers free, Nintendo! Dear guests, please note our mice will turn at every crossing. Our vermin have been specially handpicked for higher turning. Enjoy! Yeah, it does come out on Friday. I've seen some people get their paws in early copies, though. Let's see. I'll go up. Oh. Okay, let's just do it as is. The mice found a dollar! You didn't get any. Oh, well, at least the mice are happy, I guess. I guess. The mice found twenty dollars! You didn't get any. You only care for Dread at the moment? Understandable. One of these days I want to play Dread. I hope I get the opportunity, but everything's so expensive. There we go. Sounds like the bridge was raised. Fitting how Sora is the latest Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC character, yeah. I felt trepidation when they announced him. I want to give that a high five so bad. <gasps> oh yeah. Looks like the hand is out of the way now. Pulling the lever would undo the high five. You can't undo a high five! Anyway, yeah, I was feeling a bit like some trepidation when they added Sora. Not, you know, the fact that it's Sora himself. I know a lot of people really wanted Sora, and that's great, but it's more Disney having a piece of the pie. Because you know how Disney be. Anyway, let's go, Chris! Justice for Waluigi! I mean, when people suggested Eggman, too, I, I, I started thinking, man, Eggman would have been a really cool addition. Alas! Chris... Hey, Chris... Is it... strange to say it's nice spending time alone with you like this? Uh... I don't know. Nah, let's let's not ruin Fluffy Boy's dreams just yet. Uh, I'm happy hearing you say that, Chris. When we first met, I I was so nervous about first impressions. I even hid my face so you wouldn't see. How do I even be a friend? All I have to do is be nice. Is what I thought. But I'm starting to realize being friends is more than that, isn't it? 
Susie, sometimes she isn't nice at all. She's selfish, she's rude, she's sarcastic, but isn't it wonderful that she's her? Is what I started thinking today. And of course, Chris, it's nice that you're you. <laughs> this would be too cruel. It's nice that Ralsei is Ralsei. Huh? No one's... No one's ever said that to me before. I... I... I mean, everything's a first for me, but... Hearing it from you, um... It... It means a lot. <laughs> I just wonder what being Rousey-like even is. Sorry. <laughs> I got off track. Let's just enjoy the ride, Chris. <laughs> In some version, Chris pushes Ralsei off the boat. Wow, Chris! Look at all those houses! I wonder what'll happen if we change their color. <laughs> those worms really as thoughts. Those had seen it the lastest of me. Oh God. Chips ahoy, the land lovers. Are thou ready to visit David Jones's locker? Could, could you not speak with more than one accent? Yes. All right. Oh, Mr. Rules, I just remembered. Lancer, he's not well. Oh, dear. Didst thou, um, try burping him? Perhaps it'd give him a sip of medieval ginger ale? Wait, I had not time to spare on such frivolities. I must conquer this island and defeatest thou. Then, gifting it her a succulent island present. The beauteous queen that shall reward me by making it me her left hand man. <laughs> me, the ultimate minion. Now beholdeth the form of thou destroyer. Whatever this thing is, I don't know what it is, but it's hot. Th this again? <laughs> Squirming with jealousy at my battle caravan? Tis an effigy of an ancient god of combat. I rescued it from the king's trash heap and fixed it up in this world's scrap shop. It's, um, it's actually a rejected, um, design we made. <laughs> and soon thou shalt taste its rejection. First handed in the form of various bullets. The rash machine reluctantly fights you. How could you turn on us like this? Let's check on him. And distract? Mini boss for hire. Will appear even if unhired. I even do parties. Browse they distracted. Rules will place one less house next turn. The rules, pronounced rules, are simple. Conquer houses. Whoever has the most wins. Ah, don't puzzle at me. That's illegal. Smells like a model house set. Don't have enough TP, so let's just take a house. And I'll have Ralsei. Actually, let's have Ralsei defense. We get some more TP. Finished! Soon, the victory will be mine, and Queen will make it me her left hand man. No, my beautiful guns is using against me. You need more commercial zones. Oh god, SimCity flashbacks. Mr. Card, what happens if we win? Uh-oh. Blah! 
Look at the little duck feet. Well, at least we know it's a good swimmer. You can't help but notice the enemy ship is very hot. Oh, mama. I kind of want to draw this out just for the dialogue. <laughs> so I don't want to box him in just yet. Stop! Stop building it houses! I have to win! Oh, Boogie, you're here for him. Good. Yeah, this fight ends really fast. When I did it my first playthrough, I ended it really quickly. And I regretted it. Let's just take a single house. I'm gonna totally box him in. I'm sorry, rules. Thrash it off the fourth bow! It seems that the game hath been over it. And lo, I have it the most real estate. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's not about cutting him off. He does have the most houses. Oh, well. Cut the battle! I get the dialogue. That's all I want. Finally, I've won! <laughs> How doth it feel, it worms? To be bested by the best... To be laid low by the Duke of Puzzles. <laughs> um, um, so, um, what happens now? What? Um, you had more houses, so what does that even do? <laughs> Glad it thou asked. You don't have any plan, do you? Shut it, yon uppeth! And behold my truest power! <laughs> behold, worms! The real power of rules card! God! Damn it! Ah, uh, that's right. Rules isn't compatible with this world either. Well, let's go, Chris. I know you do get dialogue if it's a tie. We're, we're just gonna leave him there, huh? See ya. But I've never seen that dialogue if you let him win, so I think it's worth it. Nice Mega Man X Buster charging noise. Just according to Keikaka. Hey, Kakuth. It's hard to do in the rules voice. Looks like the ride's almost over, Chris. Oh, there's a camera. Should we, um, pose? Peace sign. Do not pose, Chris. Is a firm dweller of the no-fun zone. Rude gesture as much as I want to pick rude gesture so bad. Let's hug or I'll say. C chris Did it really take a picture of that? Um, let's keep going. We broke him. Art thou just going to leave with me here? Thou aren't even going to show with me the picture? Did you hear something, Ralph say? Weird. That was a nice boat ride, wasn't it, Chris? Looks like it's completed its migration. You gotta give you tribute to Suze. There is a reason I picked Hug specifically. As much as I really want to pick Rude Gesture. Chris, are you wondering how Susie is doing right now? No, no, I'm, I'm a little curious. Well then, why don't we close our eyes and think about what she's doing now? Oh, rules would be atrocious to Japanese. Like, the th sound is not in Japanese. What a strange moon. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. This world. I wish Des could see this. Is somebody there? Wait, what are you- Hey, you can't capture someone who's already captured! Just 
Susie? You... you saved me? Cool. Don't get used to it. Um, okay, I... I won't. Cool moon. Y yeah. But it's weird, isn't it? How did we get here? No, what even is this place? Oh, it's, uh... Will she believe us if we say Dark World? Well, of course it's the Dark World, Susie. It's nighttime. Uh, you're, uh, just having a dream. Huh? Oh. Oh, that's right. Right. If you're here, it must be a dream. Huh? I mean, the real Susie probably wouldn't save me, would she? She probably doesn't care about me at all. Huh? Why would you, uh, think that? Um, she doesn't care about anybody. Well, fair, but... Did you ever wonder why Susie never picked on you? All the time. Maybe it's because when she first came to class, you lent her one of your pencils. Like a dumb, uh, candy cane looking one or something. And even though it didn't actually taste like candy, she, uh, remembered your smile and stuff. Decided to spare you, you know. That's, um, really specific. Yeah, well, uh... Wait, did you say you ate the pencil? I mean, look! Uh, hey, so... Do you... Dream about me a lot? Well, time for me to get back to my project! <laughs> Okay, Susie, hit me with your axe and wake me up. Wait, no, I can't do that. Huh? Why not? It's just a dream, so... Um, I mean, didn't you want to, uh, hang out some more? I guess Birdly can wait a little longer. All right, let's get out of here then. All we gotta do is head to the right over this, to this, uh, uh, over here, on this, uh, heart-covered Ferris wheel. What's the goddamn holdup? Get on already! Sorry! What? the hell am I supposed to do, uh, here? Damn, Chris would know what to do. <laughs> do we point and have hearts come out, or do we eat moss? Susie had broad tastes, pencils, chalk, crayons, pine cones? Presumably moss, too, if she could find some, if Chris would stop eating that all themselves. Moss, moss, moss. Oh, thank you for joining us. Knowing Susie, she probably ate a Tide Pod without even knowing the Tide Pod challenge is a thing. Absolutely. Okay, Moss. Actually, uh, maybe Chris wouldn't know what to do. So, uh, Ferris wheels, huh? Kind of makes you wonder what car they were built for. It's... it's different than riding one with Chris. The hell's wrong? You scared of heights? No! No, I... I love heights! <laughs> You're... uh... shaking. Well, um, maybe I'm a little scared, but... I... To be honest, I... I actually like... scary things. What do you mean? When we were little, me and my sister would stay up and go past our bedtime watching horror movies. At first I cried, but now it's like watching them makes me feel 
comforted? Comforted? I guess I do like slime and blood. It's scary, but I can just turn it off, right? Now it's mostly people that are scary. <laughs> you can just say you mean me. <laughs> um, well, I guess you too, but, but that's what's nice about you, you know? Nice? The hell does that mean? You're the good kind of scary. You aren't afraid to break the rules, you know? I wish I could do crazy stuff like you. Oh my god. I'm about to get crazy, go nuts. So, um... If you could do something crazy right now, what would you do? Uh, um... Well, I... 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 I jump out of the window! Huh? It's a dream, right? I grow big angel wings and fly as far as I can, gazing back at it all. The skyline shining like holiday lights. That's kind of... beautiful. Wait, you wouldn't seriously jump out, would you? <laughs> no promises! Susie? What do you think looking out there? Me? Um... Oh my god. Say something romantic? Say something cool? Hi, Claire. Oh. It's gonna be terrible. Yeah, romantic, right? Uh, seeing everything small makes me feel like... Uh, if I was Susie Zillow or something, I could wreck the whole city. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> what? Is being Susie Zilla something you think about a lot? Um, like... Well, there's only one option. No, I just made it up now. Does your tail always do that when you lie? <laughs> hey, don't look at that! I don't have a tail, it's part of your dream! Oh, right. S sorry. Guess I'll just have to check in real life, too. Hey, don't! <laughs> Susie? Everything okay? Look, I just... I just don't like people knowing about it. Um, well... I think it's... A nice tail. Whatever. It's wagging! Kawaii. Horror movie marathon with Noelle. You stop shaking. Guess I got comfortable. Me too. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. If only I could dream like this every day. Maybe... It doesn't have to be a dream, you know? Susie? Maybe... Maybe someday we could... <sighs> Noelle! My lady! The cavalry has arrived to rescue you! Oh, the good part of the dream is over. It's fine! Birdly's gonna help! We're allies! Yes! Don't worry, Noelle. I'm stupid now! Uh, he's good! Look, I gotta go save the day now, alright? Uh, huh? Um, good luck, Susie! Alright, Nugget Boy. It's up to you now. Leave it to me, my dear Susan. Yeah, whatever. May the smarts be with you. Uh, she left before I could... Mm. Noelle, it's hard to say this. You've done so much for me, and I... Noelle, I'm sorry. 
Sadly, you're actually apologizing? Thank you. I... I understand, you know? You've always been nice to me when it's just the two of us. You just wanted to make a happy world for me. I'm glad you realize, um, it sucked. Oh. Huh? I mean, yes, I was, in a way, apologizing for that, but I also wanted to apologize for leading you on. I know you always help me out because, well, you had a crush on me, so... What? Oh, sorry. Please, don't be embarrassed. It's understandable. But I... I have to tell you, I... I really value your friendship, okay? So I... I felt like I had to pretend to reciprocate those feelings. What? But I... I don't... I never... Furthermore, I think I may have... Discovered someone else for me. Huh? Please don't be jealous. Of? Susie? What? 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 Oh, he's dead. So that's why... Geronimo! <laughs> Perfect him. <laughs> Miss me? Of course not! Just kidding. That was sarcasm. I missed you. Yeah, and she didn't miss you either. Eh. Man, we gotta work on your delivery. Anyway, let's go. Everyone is together, but the wind blows coldly. You are filled with a certain power. Now that we're here, let's leave. There's no need to get so worked up, Noelle. Birdly's got two wings, so there's pr plenty of him to go around. All right, we can't leave this way. Just kidding. But there's this guy. I was fishing for lost pottery in the acid when I found this photo. Please take a look. Uh, um, it sure is a nice photo. Susie, do you want it for your room? The hell would I want this for? Jealous? We got to hug a fluffy boy. It's not even in our inventory. That's so sad. I guess I can't backtrack from here. Just kidding. I thought I could. Not yet. There we go. That's what I wanted. Nope. I mean, I guess I could fight this thing. Hello. Give us the photo, Toby. Where where wire strongly blocks the way. Well, let's check it, because I gotta. Let's see what their S actions are. It absorbed the wire and became stronger. Be careful. Susie laughed. <laughs> Ralsei winks demurely. Please don't flo uh, flo flirt. Float, flirt with the, the boss. Ow. Where, where wire pretends to ignore you. Let's be tough. Um, I'm going to have Ralsei defend. You and Susie told where, where wire you beat them up. The air crackles with fighting spirit. If it had a rude gesture in it, she would wallpaper her room with it. I bet she would if Ralsei was the one making the, the weird gesture. Where were wire crackles at a level too high for you to understand? Let's have Ralsei heal. Of course, it's not as good as Susie's healing, but whatever. Zbg. There we go. That was a much more respectable turn. Let's try being sweet. You and Ralsei whispered sweetly to Where Where Wire. It pretended not to care, but Axe became more effective. Susie laughed. Hint. Oh, I should have done that first. Oh, well. Oh, I love smashing my face into everything. Mmm. Good. Smells like a lightning strike. Oh, I could have just spared them now. Whoops. That's fine. Mm. 
Now I can spare them. There we go. Only if the gesture is at least a level 3 swear. Is a gesture itself count as a swear? First she teaches him sarcasm, second she teaches him level 1 swears and gestures. Well, Rousey clearly already knows some swears because he was able to look at the word puzzle and immediately recognize you can't spell any swears with them. Uh, what do I got in my inventory? It might be better to have some <laughs> butt juice instead of the dark burgers, so let's do that. What is this revive dust? Revives all fallen party members. I don't know if I'll need that. Uh, I don't have any more butt juice. I'll get some butt juice. I don't know if it's going to get that bad, but I guess I'll keep it just in case. I'll get some more butt juice. By the final chapter, his dialogue is unreadable. Oh yeah, the basement. Oh, have we asked about rules card yet? I don't remember. Oh, you defeated that simpleton. Wonderful. Wonderful. After he stole our flower display for one of his bouquets, task manager told me she saw him in the hallway. Where? Opening with... Ah, oh, thou mustn't be 50% likely to be queen. He thrust the vase upon her and asked her to be, or asked to be her minion for life. He was promptly electrocuted to the ground. Well, enough of the unpleasantries. Would you like a toasted marshmallow? I would. You're not going to give me one. What? Basement? There's no basement here. You need to relax. Have a drink and talk softly. You're bothering the other customers. Is that a threat? I'll take some more butt juice. Spaghetti code. I don't need any more of this. Luxurious brooch. Brooch? 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 I'm gonna take one. Queen thanks you for your patronage. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what's your defense? Eight, six, poor Sus. Um, there we go. Roach? Oh, brooch! <laughs> I could never pronounce that word right. Anyway. I don't know why I just saved again. Habit. Am I gonna jump back in for Endwalker? I might, but I'm really far behind. And it's just finding the time, too. And also getting past... Well, I can't say it's tank anxiety because I heal mostly. But man, doing dungeons is so stressful because it's so reliant on everyone's performance. And I have this fear of letting people down. I mean, on the flip side, when I get praised for doing a good job healing, it makes me really happy. I know I once did a run of Dismal, uh, Dismal Darkhold with a really aggressive tank. And I kept them topped up, nobody died, and when we got to the boss, before we initiated the fight, they actually groveled before me. Like they did a groveling emote and said thank you for the healing. It was really nice. Carrie was there, she witnessed it. You could tank for me? You could. That's true, it's less stressful when you know people involved, as opposed to randos. Am I all kitted out for this? It's a mannequin with the clothes permanently attached. Useless. I think if you equip this, this has an effect here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it anyway. If something big is going to happen, you better hop out. Let's take a shot and find out. Hmm? You'll enjoy it better after work. Anyway, there's a slot for a disc here. Insert the loaded disc? Yeah. You put the disc into the broken down mechanism. Nothing happened. What? You tapped the mechanism. Nothing happened. You shook the mechanism. You hit it. You kicked it. Nothing happened. <sighs> what a waste of time. Whatever. I'm outie. Holy 
Drake Hungadero, do I feel good? Here I am, Chris. Big. Big. Bigger and better than ever. <laughs> this power is... Freedom. I won't have to be just a puppet anymore. Or so I thought. What are these strings? Why am I not big enough? Chris. 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 That's right. You. I need you. To be big with me. Very, very big. So big we'll stand up tall and see past the dark. Stand up with our heads in the clouds and look into heaven. I just need that little soul you have. Chris! The hell was that weirdo? Chris, we were worried about you, so... Chris, you have friends. Why don't you tell them about my 341 special? Today, the whole family can take a little ride around town. Attention customers, clean up on aisle three. Someone left their souls lying around. Chris, was that a big shot just now? Wow, I'm so proud of you. I could kill you. Heaven, are you watching? It's time to make a very special deal. <laughs> It's time to be a big shot! The filter's off for this fight. So just pretend I'm doing the cool voice thing. Let's check, because I gotta check. But let's snap in the meantime. Spam to Neo. You won't find higher attack and defense anywhere else! The smooth taste of Neo. Wake up and taste the pain! Susie snapped a wire! Rousey snapped a wire! Chris, isn't this body just heavenly? Three times the fire power, two times the water power, and best of all, flying heads. Spampton turns to the audience and laughs. Please don't do that. It, did I mouse out of the game? I did. It's like, why is my controller working? Snap all! Everyone snapped wires! We'll turn those smoes and daves into rows and graves! Those cathode screens into cathode screams! Reminds you of another boss, huh? If you were paying attention during Underhale, anyway. Spamton appeals to the audience with a festive jig. Boy, I read that as like a jug of apples for some reason. I'm glad I didn't read it out loud like that. Chris, don't you want to be part of my beautiful heart? Or did you need a little special tour? Oh, I don't like that. Spamton begs to the audience. Spamton prays to the audience. All you gotta do is big. Then we'll be the ones making the calls, Chris. 
What? What? Are you serious? It's for you! Peepus room. Where's all the peepus? Ow. That's where the peepus is. Ow. Oh, why am I charging up shots? I should just shoot them normally. There is no audience. I think just in case, I'm gonna have Ralsei heal. I also appreciate this fight, but yeah, I wish it was a little harder. But that's okay. It's fun for what it is. It's calling, Chris! My hearts! My hands! The air crackles with freedom! Chris, can you really look in my eyes and say no? Look in my eyes! Look in my nose! Look in my mouth! Please, I'd rather not. I would very much rather not. I can't stand it! I think I'm gonna have a heart attack! Please don't, I'm not qualified to handle that. Bampton begs the audience to stop taking the furniture out of his room. Well, you should have locked it down. Also, I just noticed the faces on our roller coasters. Terrible. Chris, I'll even give you a free value. Die now, and I'll throw in 50 bullets for free. Oh, I can't ignore savings that good. Ah, oh, jeez. There's a glitch? What's this glitch? Chris, if you give me that soul, I will give you everything I have. I will give you three easy payments of $9.99. Oops, I just completely ignored that one. Hmm, what if I should use a healing item? Or if I want to be gutsy and just have... Let's just have Ralsei heal. Uh, let's snap. And then I'm going to have Ralsei use heal prayer. Clown! No! I feel sick! Oh, I gotta shoot him better. He's getting too close. What am I doing? Spamton feels the sweet breeze as he takes a ride around town. Mm, just to be safe, I'm gonna heal Chris again. Okay. If you hold down Z and spam enter, you spam charge shots. Oh. Using the glitch too much makes Spamton mad and he enters a hard mode. Chris, take the deal! Take it! Do you want to be a heart on a chain your whole life? Maybe I do? Maybe I like the consistency. There we go. It smells like rotten glass. I don't want to have to heal Rousey again. But, oh, I don't even have enough TP for healing. Well, I guess I could use an item. Ugh. Which is terrible, but I'd rather be safe. It's not as bad as something like Etrian Odyssey, though, where if a party member bites it, you lose all your momentum. Or, did you want to be? Did you want to be? What? It's for me? <laughs> Smells like rotten glass. Chris, I won't force you. I can't. I can't force you. But just look, Chris. Look at the power of Neo and ask yourself. Well, don't you? 
Don't you want to be a big shot? That. Ah. I really wish I could activate the filter for that, but just the, the lag I'm getting doing it, that would be bad. So you're just gonna have to imagine. Flat. No, thank you! I don't want what you're selling! Toby patched it so Spamton gets enraged and does more damage instead of patching it out. He even gave Spamton a funny animation. Well, he's almost spared. Um, let me see if I can do it. So what is it? Zed and Spam enter. I'm using my controller. Uh, uh. Can a little sponge do this? Go gaga and die? Except I might take a lot of damage because I can't reach my keyboard comfortably from here. It might not be a good idea to try finding it out. But I'll have to try it on my own sometime because I'm curious. I guess I could find a video of it. It pulls the strings and makes them ring. Everyone snapped wires! Wait! Now the presses! My... my wires... they're almost gone. Chris, you... You're gifting me my freedom. Chris, after everything I did to you, after all the unforgettable deals, free Cromer, I gave you, you're finally repaying my generosity. Chris, I understand now the greatest deal of all. Friendship! Chris, my days as a long-nosed doll are over. Cut that wire and make me a real boy. Are you watching, Heaven? It's time for Spamton's comeback special. And this time, I live for myself. No, myself and my friends. Here I go. Watch me fly, Mama. It seems, after all, I couldn't be anything more than a simple puppet. But you three, you're strong. With a power like that, maybe you three can break your own strings. Let me become your strength. Huh. You got Shadow Crystal. You got Dealmaker. What, neither of you have anything to say about that? We almost died. A sharp shadow moves like water in the hand. You have collected two. What is this deal maker I got? Some armor? Fashionable pink and yellow glasses. Greatly increases money gained and... And? And what? I don't know. Uh, where's the thing that's... There we go. Hmm. I guess I could have tried the two shot buttons in the controller, but I've never tried seeing what the other fire button is. So I'm going to take a drink of water. One second. There we go. Oof. Unsurprisingly, it takes a lot of effort to be that manic, for lack of a better word. Hey, so are we seriously not gonna talk about any of that? That was goddamn weird. Puppets, strings, hands? What the hell does any of that mean? 
And the way he just... broke. I... don't think it meant anything, Susie. It seems like it was just a corrupted program. He turned into our ally, so let's just accept it. Chris, you've got goosebumps. You okay? Yes. No. Yes. No! C Chris, are you okay? You're yelling! Oh. There, there. Everything's alright. Don't think about what happened too hard, okay? Just take some deep breaths and think about... Something you like. Something nice. Something soft. I'll be right next to you until you feel better, Chris. Guess Ralsei's right, Chris. Whatever just happened, I guess... Maybe it didn't mean anything. I don't know why you came here, but... Let's just be glad you didn't get killed. <laughs> just... Tell us next time. You're gonna do something stupid like this, okay? What? No, I'm not giving you a hug. That's what Rousey's for. He's like a portable teddy bear. But Susie, because you never give out hugs, that increases their value. It's the law of supply and demand. Well, I demand you supply me with... Ugh, enough of you guys! I think everything will be okay, Chris. No, I would like to get on the Susie hug economy. No, come back! Anyway, you don't get that dialogue about hugging if you, uh, don't do the little swan ride and have Ralph say hug you for the photo. Who doesn't want to hug Susie? Well, she looks pointy. Basement robot. So, that's what happened. That robot was the embodiment of a Leitner's dream. A dream I helped create, once. Splashing color from the motion of their hand, the Leitner filled it with their own hope, giving it an incredible power. But, in the end, nothing ever came of it. And it was left in the basement with the rest of the corrupted data. But that crooked salesman! Somehow he learned about the robot, and thought he could use its power to fulfill his own twisted dreams. What a pity, to think he was once a valued customer. Weird. Um, you got any more butt juice? Beautiful. Thanks. Oh, hi, Joanna! If you hug Susie, you gotta make sure you don't pin her arms. That'll make her feel trapped. That's right. <laughs> you have to respect her boundaries. It's probably why she's wearing all those, like, spiky wristbands. Anyway, let's press forward. Shall we? Oh, wait. I need to go back to the top floor. She is! Hey, girl. Queen! Stop right there! Ah, uh, my sweet idiot children. You are just in time to witness my world domination. With Noel in my possession, it is only a matter of time before her will turns, and she unleashes her power, blanketing the world in... Too late, dumbass. Noelle's with Birdly. Oh. Then who this? B Birdly? But he's been... 
Intercepted. My control plugs are now suitable for teenagers. Now the whole family can enjoy eternal servitude. Sort of real, mostly cruel laughter. <laughs> Wait, then where's Noelle? Laughter becomes more cruel. <laughs> oh, I wonder. I actually know the answer. Enough already! Oh dear. I do sincerely quite like you two. It will be a shame to force you to serve me. An enjoyable shame. Queen blocks the way. Did you see Susie's, like, real serious expression? I've never seen one like that before. Queen, defenseless, birdly. Uh, let's group loosen. Everyone loosens birdly! Queen, think of the lighteners! Aren't we supposed to make them happy? Is that not what I am doing? Oh, good. Why? What is it with me and, like, Birdly's tornado attack? Like, why do I keep moving back into it? I don't know. The battlefield feels electric. Why am I a dingus? Think! Lightners have already been enslaved by me and my kin. This reminds me a little of fighting uh, Prince Froggy in Yoshi's Island. With the stomach acid? Queen's acid shield is formed, what? <sighs> Group toast. That glass of acid is generating her shield! So, uh, you gonna drink all that? No, this is all mine. You can't have it. Queen sips from her acid. Each day they spend hours worshipping in glowing rapture. Our screens of funny animals and candy games. Oops, I was deactivating the, the filter. Yeah. Uh -huh. Please don't step on me. The fountain flows ominously. Oh. Staring, tapping to receive joy. Staring, tapping to avoid pain. I know all about that. Oh, her head explode. Queen's acid shield is down. Oh, let's keep loosening Birdly here. Until recently, when the town's internet disappeared. Now the refuge they take in the screens will slowly fade. Ah. Yes, box myself in a corner, good. The skyline echoes with regal laughter. Oh, I can dual heal. Well, let's loosen Birdly while I can. Before she gets crunk again. Noelle, then who will help her? Her strange and sad searches. Who will answer them? I love her little drunk face there. Well, Queen's, Queen's getting wild tonight. Queen, it's a work night. No, you can't get crunk. Okay, so before we toast, let's have Rousey dual heal, and Suze will do a little toast. Your soul shined its power on Rousey. Suzy made a toast to Queen? Pretty cool how we're uh, gonna kick your ass. It's a good thing I have no standards for this. Queen sips from her acid. Rousey gasps dual heal. Is what I wondered until the night appeared and created this wonderful world of darkness. Smells like overclocked high heels. Let's group toast. Now, the path is clear. All I have to do is expand this dark world. Wah, wah, wah. Ow. Clumsy britches. Okay. 
Then, with the world covered in darkness, no one will have to suffer anymore. You searching for boy guy? Oh, oh. Legs for days. Ah, jeez, I got trapped. The battlefield feels electric. Um... Oh, I need... I was gonna dual heal and then have Suze remove the last bar, but no, we'd need... Would be enough. So let's just group toast. Chug, chug, chug! Woo! Instead, everyone can live in my perfect mansion. Every day, blissfully worshipping me like we both deserve. Moments, girl, guy, moments sound... Ooh, uh, drama! Oh no! Oh no, it's become Twitter. God, no. I curate my feed pretty carefully, though. I, I'm just here for cool artwork. Anyway, let's loosen the bird. Now, stop resisting and welcome the new age of darkness. What do you think that tastes like? I mean, aside from unfathomable pain. Um, I'm gonna have, let's see, uh, should I dual heal? What's our health like? Eh. Nah. Um, let's just group toast. We won't let you control everyone with your wires! Whoa, when did I say I would do that? Hello, burgly. Okay, good. It's better when I don't move to the side like an idiot. Um, boo, boo, boo. Maybe I should do group heal just to be on the safe side. So let's, uh, hang on. Let's do a heal and then we'll have Suze do a toast. Come by. Susie made an offensive toast to Queen. I want to hear the toast. I want to hear the toast. Uh, you're literally controlling Birdly now. Oh yeah, that's just for him only. Why does Birdly get the special treatment? Maybe we also want to have the pressure of making decisions stripped from, from us, huh? Why did you want one? No! I don't know, Sue. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. Okay, let's... If I do some individual toasts, I want to see if Ralse has any dialogue like Susie does. You made a memorable and charming toast to Queen. Wow, spoken like a real trussie. Oh, I miss Susie's dialogue. Sorry, I pressed A. Sorry. A toast to you. Um, making me wear a butler outfit. Bro, that's weird, but okay. Enough, you foolish children. You may have survived my attacks, regular, but I've been secretly been downloading my ultimate move the whole time. Now, perish in the bosom of my hellish reign. Ain't that just the way? Old internet flashbacks. You ever have it where you were trying to download something, but then it's like, I need to make a phone call, and then they disconnect the internet? God. I'm giving away my age, but we'll... So, that final move was supposed to be cooler, but the internet is down. Oh, information overload. Oh, thank you. I like to think I'm good at dodging ads in real life. Okay, let's group loosen. Come on, burgly. Not bad, you foolish children. What the? What are you doing? Why isn't my control wire working? Thanks to my comrades' kindness, their mercy. Now, it's time 
for me to take my freedom? This is worse. Queen! You may have mastered the number three, but can you stand up against four of us? Running simulation four, the number four. Hmm. You are definitely going to kick my ass. Unless... Oh no, what that? Ooh. Wait! Wait, what nanosecond? You... You coward at? You... You... Alas... Birdly? <laughs> Just now was nothing more than simple bravado. The truth is that wire already absorbed all of my succulent energy juices. Birdly! Hey! Hey, Birdly! Are you okay? Everything getting dark. Only, only a kiss from a beautiful gamer girl can save me now. Birdly. What? Like, get your, like, losing consciousness and stuff, but... Could you speak up? Um, <laughs> sorry. Suddenly I... I... I'm feeling a bit better. Hey, that's a relief. Well, uh, gotta hurry and save Noelle, so... Later. Uh, dear Susan, so enigmatic in her ways. But I can read her heart, Chris, like a health meter. And it's beeping for love. <laughs> well, enough tales, Chris. Good luck. May the smarts not be with you. Okay. I mean, what else do you say to that? What is this single pixel? I hate it. Chris, your deep concern for me is dextrose. But stay sanguine, my fellow bluebird. I'll find some way to help you yet. Chris, such insistence. Sorry, but I must turn you down. I've chosen Susan's route in the VN of life. Gross. Don't even yell at me if I go backwards, huh? Hey. Uh, Susan, return to feast upon my sprightly visage. What? You look awful. Uh, such dare is soon to my ears. What the hell are you saying? How about a kiss for luck? Stop mumbling! A kiss for me to change RNG. Gross. Gross. Lime Crush with extra burning. I'm sorry I missed that for now. I didn't know they made Lime Crush. I thought they just did, like, orange and grape. And cream soda. Hey. The night. The roaring night. Today... It deigned to create this world. Reaching its long hand to the sky, it coursed its will into its blade and made, thrusting the fountain from the earth. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness. We might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power of determination. Is this not something that all lightners possess? If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply 
Make a new one. Noelle, honey, darling, sweetie, gravy. How do you find the giant hand? Great, and how do you feel about world domination? Ooh, ouchie mama. S Susie, you... you came to save me. Somehow, I... I... I knew you would. Uh, you did? Um, I mean, I... um... well... Wait! Wait, wait, wait! You need to get out of here! Hurry! Huh? Whoa. Oh my god, it's Metal Sonic! Queen? Seems that you failed to notice. The giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. This isn't good. She's... She's invincible like this. Huh? She... She's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> you think growing a few inches is gonna help? Yes. Are we cool to take over the world now? S Susie, let's just give up and... Hell if we're giving up now! S Susie? So what have you got another form? We've got one too! Chris, Ralsei, come on! What are you doing? This is our ultimate. Uh... Wait a sec, now that you mention it... Oh no, it appears I am evenly matched. I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. Well... We're uh, falling! Any bright ideas on how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms? Fear not! Your knight in glow-in-the-dark armor is here! Birdly? Chris, Susie, my energy is still too low to help you fight. So I found help for you. Behold, comrades. On your quest against Queen. You've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk making skills. We modified everyone to work together. I shall also take credit for this. Why are you still here? Chris! Susie! Behold! The ultimate group project! With a splendid base! My strongest JPEGs! Flashing lights! Happy! Bravery! Meow! My energy! <laughs> Tender loving care! Fresh cooking! Organization! Star Walker is pissed. And most of all, whatever the, this thing it is. Finally, a worthy opponent. Round one. Fight. Giga Queen blocks the way. Mm, fire mode, turbo dodge, self fix. Let's just fight. Look at that swagger, though. The time for words is over. Now is the time to fight, only. The cityscape roars past. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. I totally will keep monologuing as I kick at. 
your face. The night is young for fighting. The time has come for Noelle to realize her own strength, her own will, her own determination. Oh. Smooth. Round two begins. Queen's attacks got tougher. Focusing into her blade, she will create a near dark fountain. Then another. Then another. Love that she's committed to drinking while fighting. Ah, oh, that was a slow dodge. Then, when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in bliss, free of fear and suffering. Wow. Smells like gigantic batteries, gross. Oh yeah, I have some... Let's power attack. Flame mode engaged. A power boosting aura fired up. Chris, Susie, why don't you two help me? Create the world of your dreams. Also, my dreams. Ralse advises you to dodge, then counter punch. Thanks, Ralse. Very helpful. Oops. Punch! Susie. Bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. But you can't cheat at the skateboard game, so like, what's even the point? Ow. I should heal, just in case. Susie mashes the controls, trying to punch more. She would. Thrash Machine used the butt juice. Also, look at the face. It looks like a rhino. And Chris, my dearest Trucy, you can have as many. Okay, I don't remember what you liked. Oh, this fight is a lot of fun, isn't it? Round three begins. Queen's attacks got extreme! Eh, nah. Hey, was there a third guy? That was kind of uncomfortable. Um, do I have enough for- no, it's 50% for fire mode. Um... Let's see, let's heal, just in case. Join me and all of you will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and can shoot lasers from my fancy glass. Oh, way to eat every hit. Okay, I believe I've made my point. I'm going to procedurally loop my dialogue now. Thanks, Queen. Wow. Oh, I gotta get my act together. Um, let's heal again, just to be sure. Okay, I'm not gonna read her dialogue anymore. Because we've seen it. Wow, wow, wow.
I'm dodging about 300% more hits than you did. Oh, thank you. I've never played Punch-Out, actually. Oh, sorry, I skipped this. Susie, Chris, other guy. You have burned. What did she say? Something about a worthy opponent? Whatever, you're my worthy opponent now. You have earned the right to remember what your fighting machine's true purpose is. To get your own ass thrashed. By me. With my final attack. Ha ha. Bye. Ow. Battle power dropping. Overheat activated. Listen well. You may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing. You three will never have. Detachable hands. Ah, oh, jeez. Noelle, darling, honey, sweetie, gravy. Take the pin I gave you and stab the earth, creating our new supreme empire. I... I... What's wrong, Noelle? I know it would make you happy. Or should I, with the last 1% of my battery, crush Susie into Eight bits. Leave. Leave Susie alone! You think listening to you makes me happy? No! I'll never be happy. Not if I'm controlled by you. Why can't you understand that? Noelle, perhaps my computations were... Miscalibrated. Noelle, disregard me and, with your own power, choose the world that makes you happy. Hi, Curtis. Queen? C Queen! Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now, right, everybody? Everybody? Queen, she said, choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh, now that you mention it, Chris, isn't this world just better? We make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before, with axes, and battles, and magic, where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah. So even if things were really scary just now, I mean, 
So, is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then, Noelle, let this be my real apology. Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash a bright future. A future that shines for us. A future whose brightness is born from darkness. Stop! What in the world are you all doing? Well, we thought we would stop. I mean, stop! Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just... You'll bring the roaring. When the light is subsumed by shadow. When the fountains fill the sky. All will fall into chaos. The titans will take the form from the fountains. And envelop the land in devastation. The surviving darkeners, crushed by the darkness, will slowly, one by one, turn into statues, leaving the lightners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally, in an endless night. Is that your idea of paradise? Oh, damn, I did not know that. You didn't? But your whole plan was to... I'm just a computer, LMAO. I don't know everything. I was just guessing based off the knight's actions. Why the heck, hell, would I want to end the world? Well, that's a relief. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I, after everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noelle. That's okay, Birdly, I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You... you understand how I feel? Not really, LMAO. I just don't want Noelle to be sad. <laughs> well, I'm glad you two kind of get it now. Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end. No, we freaking didn't. Could you let go of us now? Oh, yeah. S Susie! Hey, you stood up to Queen. Not half bad. R really? Uh, yeah. Just guess you gotta wake up soon, huh? Huh? Everything got so intense. I forgot it was a dream. Then... I just hope... I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noelle, when you wake up... Um... Well, I just wanted to say... Uh... Well then, I suppose it is time for you all to exit. Running program... Tendergoodbye.exe. I will miss each of you. Noelle, your unneeded honesty. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, your chill vibes. B Burgly? It doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. 
You and all our recruits can live there. Oh. Deleting tendergoodbye.exe. All right. Time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noelle. If you see the real Susie, just... Just know that maybe she's... Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? <laughs> okay, I got it. It's not a secret. Let's just go, Chris. Shove. Chris. It looks like we're here again, huh? The Roaring Night. Whatever they are, they're making these fountains. But is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Oh, it was a dream, wasn't it? Huh. A dream? That was all a dream? Uh, of course, that must have been a dream. Such feelings, such thoughts. Oh, sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be... Susie? S Susie? B what are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? Oh, right. I, uh, I... What? Studying with them? Noel, heavens to yikes. They're... they're... Well, I guess we could try it. Uh, my... my alarm? Uh, I'm going to be late for my shift with Miss Boom. Oh no, how is it that late already? Well, adieu, everyone. I must gather my book longings. Ah, how I love the texture of freshly picked up books. Now, let us hasten, my dear Noel. Good day, Chris. Susie. Bye, Chris. And, um, bye, Susie. Uh, see ya. What? What? Are you looking for something? Nothing. Bye. The heck is her problem anyway? Way to treat someone who just saved the world. Chris! Hey, wait a sec, Chris. We... We just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really are heroes. And no one even knows. I guess it's better that way, though, right? People would freak out if they knew the world's in danger. Though, kind of sucks Noelle has to forget, too. Whatever. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the goddamn it, Chris pose. I couldn't remember where in the game it was from, but there we go. Looks like the library's state-of-the-art public laptop. Someone left it on. Also, thank you, belatedly. I'm glad you like the queen voice. After ten minutes, Birdly creates a new fountain. He goes mad with power and forces everyone to agree with his gaming preferences. Oh, he's definitely like Fox-only Final Destination. No items. It's a recycling bin. 
Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. It's a computer. It's nothing but a blue screen. Looks like it crashed. A dolphin screensaver is advertising some kind of malware. I trust that dolphin. Oh, sorry. Falco only, no items. No, you know what? Everybody has to play as Fox, but only Birdly gets to be Falco. It's full of many backup devices, like extra mice, extra keyboards, or extra maracas. I haven't seen the Birdly Learns to Wave Dash video, but I saw it on my feed. I gotta find it. Various posters talking about internet safety. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. And yet, and yet... It's a computer. The monitor is flickering brightly. Same. Mm -hmm. It's a trash can. You get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. It's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. You know, it just occurred to me, does it let you examine Noelle's room? I can't, I feel like it does, but I might have missed my chance to do it. Well, I have another save. I can save in another slot and then go back and look. I, I didn't want to backtrack too much because it's already late and I got to finish this. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Hmm. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You again. It's book one about souls. Read it. The soul has long been called many things. The font of our compassion. The source of our will. The container of our life force. But even now, the true function of it is unknown. How to Care for a Human. It's a book for monsters on how to care for humans. Uh, let's look inside. There are photos of unfamiliar humans inside. You shut the book quickly. Gross. People. Let's look in the back. According to the card in the back, looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. Hmm. It's a book of magic tricks. Most of them require orbs or floating hands. Are these the same from last time? Yeah, but I think this one is different. It's someone's diary. Read it. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Someone else has been taking out my diary. Oh, no. They're printing a review in the paper. Oh, no. I'm being highly acclaimed. Terrible. Oh, yeah, the flavor text. See if there's anything new on the teen's own. It's the weekly cartoon review. Just looking at cartoon criticism is sapping your energy rapidly. That's for the best. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Hey. Man, it got late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? All right, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Let's go. Hey, I got a Suze. I think... Let me poke around here real quick. The throne of the gods grows higher. Is this hubris? Yeah, that's what we need to reach the, the drinking thing. Susie say anything about this? No. I was hoping she would. I examined all that stuff earlier, so we can skip that. Mm. Oh, we still have the egg. Um. Hi, honey. How was your group project? I can give you a ride home in a minute. I am just... Oh? No need? You are still spending time with a friend? Oh dear, two days in a row, Chris. Is that a record? Have fun, honey. Be back before sunset. Forget that. Bye, Mom. Oh, it's you. So, this is your castle town. It's... Not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppress, thank you. 
I am going to be your wacky roommate now. Oh boy. I mean, we already have Lancer as a wacky roommate. Do we have room for two? Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to. But you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? I think we can finish this last bit off. Do you folks feel like it? Might take me another half hour. Thanks a lot for the lovely city. It's nearly as good as the one I made in Minecraft. I need to mine 10 hundred blocks of obsidian to make my dog three colors. I don't think there's anything new here, right? Nope. Never played Minecraft. My dog will forever remain unicolored. You here for it? Excellent. We're in building up the area to be a bit more board like. The pawn men will be happy too. Oh, it's the same as before. That's not different. You're new though. This place is a great deal. All kinds of new customers. Want a free sample? Just $4.99 to try a bite of these clothes. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe you commercialized Ralsei. Looks like it costs money just to have a free sample. Who did this to my mannequin? As your prince, I. I demand someone fix this! Um, is... is anybody listening? I was listening! Don't yell that from across town! Hey, Lancer! Hi, Susie! Hi, Lancer. If Noelle was here, she'd probably dress it up like a Christmas tree. Huh? Why am I thinking that anyway? Welcome to... The music room! We don't sell anything. Good song. Nice town, Chief. I think we're gonna like it here. Cool city. As thanks, you can listen to all sorts of songs here. Don't think it'll be cheap, though. It's free. What? Crash. Bang. Boom. See ya. Smell ya. Hear ya. When I got here in my file, I tried playing a song and then it glitched and the song would not stop playing and it would be layered over other music. I couldn't fix it. I had to just, oh, it's a car. I've been training. Don't ask what I've been training though. Hi. Baby. Meow. Meow. Terraria is superior. <laughs> I've never played Terraria either. You've played it, right, Joanna? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wonder if she'll be back. Hey, boss, we're just reminiscing about fighting you. <laughs> That's right. They took so long in their turn. What? Horde girl? I never got to see her. Oh, it's getting a little more crowded in here. Hey, boss, how can I help you? Oh, task manager says, winning's as easy as ABC. You got three chances, boss. Sure. Chaos, chaos. No, no, order, order. I missed the rest of what she said. Bay. I feel like I'm gonna get burned by being so close to the edges, but. is good though an amazing battle is promised here is your reward cool uh, let's do the last one chapter two all stars face everyone in a row it'll take some stamina let's do it round one um just defend and then we'll just pacify mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so on Friday I'm actually going to continue Deltarune. 
a little bit. There's one more route I'm sure some of you know. Unlike the first chapter, there's some alternate things you can do. Hence my other save. So I'm going to do that next time. Um, I think we can just like take care at the end, right? I don't know. Eh. Eh. Ralsei washes his hands for 60 seconds. That's a little too thorough. You're gonna you're gonna dry out your paws, buddy. I mean it's important for hand hygiene to try and avoid cracks in your hands too. Um let's see avoid, and then let's try and spare. What? Ow! It's fine if I hit the cactus, right? Yeah. Okay, um, let's take care and spare, and then I think taking care should spare Vero Vero Clun too. There we go. Snow help for us now, huh? <laughs> okay, let's soft voice, spare. But then after that, I'm not sure. Um, there's another game I actually wanted to do last year, um, before. I wound up doing Bug Fables. Uh, so I might do that after this. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. There we go. But I don't want to say just yet, just so I don't jinx it. <laughs> uh, let's warm, and then we'll just have Rossi defend. Oh, never mind, they're all red. I keep thinking there's another stage after orange and there isn't. Birds, birds, birds. Are these birds? Or are they people wearing bird masks? I've seen people draw them as birds. I'm not sure. Aw, oh, these things. Okay, let's be sweet. And then let's... S action. Ah, jeez. I love that I'm just getting hit by everything. Very good. Very good. Um, I'm not sure what Be Cold does. I guess we'll find out. Um, maybe let's let's uh, not pacify. Let's heal just in case. Oh, I see. Okay, that's how much it it does. Uh, la la. Good. Smash my face into everything. Okay, um, let's try being tough, and I don't think that'll be enough to spare. What's the percentage at? 57, yeah, that will be enough. Um... Okay. Almost there. Um, let's be tough. Let's spare. Very nice. Okay, um, let's be sweet again, and let's do that. <laughs> Ow. Um. Okay, there we go. I really want to read the chat. <laughs> I shouldn't. Not want to try to dodge lasers. Personally, you wouldn't be surprised if Susie was the kind of person to think that blood drives are just pyramid schemes run by Dracula and his night walkers. She would. Woohoo. An amazing battle! As promised, here is your reward! Cool. Let's never use that. Looks like it won't forgive you for sparing it. Unless you can beat it in a fight. Way ahead of you. Um, do I have anything new? Oh, you're here. Mamma Miba! I was rejected from the cafe! What can I do now? Prize? I can only generate one spin cake at a time! Oh yeah, that's it. That was it. Hi, Lancer. Ho oh, ho! I am Chef Lancer! Yeah, same same as before, but... I already took a cookie, that's right. Um... I think... what... Uh, let's see... 
Oh, I can do the spike band. And I can also do twin ribbon. Oh, and the tension bow, too. Um, let's see. So I need the pink and white ribbon unequipped, and then I need the tension bit, which I think is in my storage? Uh, let's see. Unequip. I mean, I guess I don't actually have to do this right now, because it's not gonna make a difference. We don't have chapter three yet. Another time! What a wonderful place! Thank you! This town, not that restaurant. It looks weird. I'm not going in. I, too, would not go into a restaurant shaped like somebody's mouth. Young masters, thank you for such a wide space to clean! The people here have such clean hearts as well. Sukiri. It's nice to make friends that like good, clean fun. Sukiri. Crowded in here. Good evening, boss. Today's meal is crisp E23D28. It's been deep fried with the finest JPEG artifacting. I hope it suits your palate. Or, palate. Mmm, crust. Does anybody know that hex code off the top of their head? <laughs> Good evening, boss. We found a strange hooligan trying to turn the cafe into a second bakery. He was spinning and crying as my men carried him out. We do not predict any further difficulties. Now, please, you've worked hard, boss. Relax and enjoy yourself. What's the recommendation? For the young monster, we recommend the blackberry tart. This way, even if you eat it quickly, you won't notice the stains. For the young prince, we recommend the vanilla green tea. There's not much to go off of besides your color. That doesn't sound bad. I know some people like matcha, like a matcha latte with vanilla syrup. For the young human, we recommend a chocolate blueberry latte. Boss, please try not to use all of the sugar. Ugh, gross. Wow, seems well behaved. Boss, this cafe is so unrefined, so plain. Why don't we make it into an animal cafe? You can be one of the animals too, boss. Chris or Ralse? Susie, Sue's cafe. Hi, Sham. Well, what have we here? You managed to find another shadow crystal. Oh, is that so? That salesman had found the crystal in the old machine. I wonder if perhaps long ago that old machine was very important to someone. A certain lightener, perhaps. Or maybe it's just a hunch. <laughs> At any rate, it's truly unfortunate a darkener decided to steal that power. Or is it fortunate? Because of that, you found a new crystal. Here, let me hold on to that for you. <laughs> you have collected two shadow crystals. But don't let down your guard. I feel your next opponent may be... Hmm. In reality, it may be impossible to win. Unless you use the power of the shadow mantle. Here, it may look like an old scrap of cloth, but... Huh? I can't find it. Did someone take it? <laughs> well, now, there goes your one chance of victory. Thanks, Chom. See you again, or not. Thanks for getting rid of Queen. Yeah, this form is much cooler, so I'm keeping it. Mm -hmm. Um. You touched the light. You thought about how you can't go back to the cyber world anymore. You considered this carefully. I'm going to save in another slot. So I can go back and maybe show off some of the backtracking stuff at a later date. Shams left eye rotated in a similar fashion when a flowery sprites. Why do you have a wig? With this windfall, I've ceased to be fear spherical. Spherical. No, bird, you're one of a kind. Nilbert's had a wild ride. Time to settle down. Give my riches to the weak. Thanks, Nubert. You're a paragon of society. Oh boy, oh boy! I'm trashy! <laughs> yeah. I bet I'm gonna make a lot of new friends. Ugh, get out. Ho ho! Who is this guy? He's scary! Awful. How about a strawberry cake as a room warming gift? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie! 
But it's not Cauldron Fresh! I read that already, but I don't care. It's still good. I don't think you have anything new to say, do you? Yeah. But. Hey. You may have bested me, but you'll soon face someone more fearsome, more tyrannical than you could ever imagine. Queen, we already met her. What? Wow, nice hamster wheel. So you too have come to humiliate me. No, I am serious, it's cool. That water bottle, however. Do not speak ill of the royal water bottle. It's nothing compared to the one at my mansion. Hmm. Materialistic as always. Materialism evaluation denied. I simply give myself the treatment I deserve. You slept curled up on a dirty throne every day. Enough, wench! What purpose have you here, Queenie Beanie? Just thought I would send a message, Keenie Weenie, that you don't have to worry about Lancer. I will be looking after him from now on. After all, I am his mother. When was that decided? Arbitrarily, right now. Hmm. Do what you please with the boy. But if he cries, bounce him on the ground like a ball. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh, quite sorry, mine king. Queen hath a new man about town now. Who? Yeah, who? Uh, I think I left my puzzle on. Post haste! Who was that? <sighs> that was my son's lesser father. Cannot calculate someone less than you. Be gone! Bye bye, Kingy Wiggy. By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. Order processed. We have nothing to discuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounce him like a ball. It's a wonder how Lancer's as well adjusted as he is considering who his parents are. How did you describe it? Half like the King of Spades and half Java OS. I'm going back in Chris's room. Nothing good in here. Nothing good in Susie's room either. Whoa. Susie, Chris, Toothpaste Boy. Queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like, how do I put this? A third father to me. A girl dad, if you will. You mean a mom? Go outside and play, Peach Boy. Peach Boy, Peach Boy. Welcome, this entire castle is now my room. Uh, um, I was gonna set up something upstairs. Why, I already have everything I could ever want. Friendship, fans, and a small round boy. Now go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Peach Boy, Peach Boy! I keep ending up in this situation. Can't say I'm a fan. Or can I? Chris, do give Noelle my regards. Any leftover regards you can give to Birdly. Wow, she got his name right. Asgore and the king need to form a divorce dance club. Wait, out of the corner of my eye, I saw Asgore and then my brain mashed together the king there with the lancer from your previous sentence and my brain parsed it as Luigi. And for a brief moment, I didn't question it. I thought, yeah. You know what? Luigi does need to join the Divorce Dads Club. Bye-bye. Itakimasu. 
I just saw that's like when you're a teen Link in Ocarina of Time, you don't want to be a kid again. Wait, I missed the context for that. Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. And sometimes it's bad to get your freak out. We tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. If I can't stop him, should I join him? No. No. Oh, the enemy that liked their cooler form, huh? Well, well, if it isn't the teens, our beloved rats of the city. You want to get into politics? <laughs> you better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did. And look at me now. I don't even work here. This brief's case is full of diapers. Or, to the pros, dipes. You're gonna have to level up to understand a man's world. <laughs> Luigi has divorced energy, but in a cool way. What is he divorced from? Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor. She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. That bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. Put me in, coach! Put me in! Put me out. Put me out. Dipes X for the pro baby boss. Oh, hey. Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. Missed a spot. Enjoy your date. Are they dating in this continuity? I hope so. Luigi's been divorced from his dignity for quite some time. Ugh. Oh, hey. You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? <laughs> you got a beak and wings? Like a chicken? No. Just... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. But, Chris... You gonna be a weenie like Chris? You wanna say that again? Susie didn't see you there. Wow. Really something scary in there, huh? Ugh. Sounds to me like you'd better worry. About what's out here first. Ah! You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? Well, you don't gotta talk about it. Yeah, you do. No, I wanna know what's in there. Yeah. He got married young, but then realized he wasn't happy and put himself first. <laughs> As he should. I'm not Jerry. I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. Oh, Terry, say it again. Say you don't have to go to the bathroom again. Oh, Terry, say it again. Uh, did they all say the same thing? I think... I can't even talk to the blue one. Oh, there we go. Wow. Groupies. Who did Luigi get married to, then? So, uh... Is this your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. You love Terry. He never has to go to the bathroom. Goals until his bladder bursts, I guess. Oh, we read this already. Oh, hey, Alvin. Chris, welcome. Did you seek something from me? It's been a few years since my father passed on. Fans of his famous book series, Lord of the Hammer, we still received condolences from them until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher. And difficult for Miss Alphys as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel will smile upon her. She's gonna need all the help she can get. As per the ritual, a hammer is buried in the earth here. To symbolize his existence. To connect his spirit to the divine. Originally a smith by trade, he began writing history and made a turn into telling stories as a means to entertain his children. That such a story, created for such a simple purpose, could blossom into such a large, wonderful, world-changing thing. 
That is the majesty of words, Chris. My father was blessed to have such a talent for writing. Ah, Chris, your brother, he is a very kind young man, perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion, I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high, nearly omitting the fact that he had done so in a videos game. He also confessed to various sins on your behalf, begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. Good day, Chris. May the angel watch over you. You heard Alvin mumbling to himself as you walked away. Were you proud of me, father? And is it right for this hammer to... What does he mean? Also, I find that bit about Azriel really funny because my own brother has not confessed to sins, but my own brother has lambasted me for unabashedly throwing Yoshi into pits to gain leverage. Look, man, if you want the secret exit on the cheese bridge area with the saws, either you gotta do a really tricky cape maneuver up and under the goal, or you just take Yosh and you dump him into the void. Here to make an appointment? Nah, just here to hang out. I see. Should I pencil you in for hanging out? Is sacrificing Yoshi is a sin, then you're a lord of hell. <laughs> you monster. Worth it. I need 96 exits. Whoa, Chris, you can play the piano? No. Damn, that kind of hype for a sec. All right. Plank. <laughs> Almost thought you were serious for a sec. What's with that pissed off look? Yeah, Chris, what is with that pissed off look? Silver Drake? I've never beaten this boss before. All right, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. So, um, how about just telling me what to do? <laughs> sure. How about trying Fire Shock? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh, yeah. How about one of your 99 blaze potions? Um, I'm saving those? For what? Your birthday? Come on, live a little. Okay, Dad. This one's for you. Yeah! No comment. No comment. I know. I know. Noelle and I are kindred spirits. It reflects fire attacks. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. Then I'd make you better, and... It wouldn't... Just be me and Mom. Your mother is... Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you... Sure you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Susie? Why are you here? Hell if I know. Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad. This is... Um, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice! Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool! Think I have to go now! Susie, huh? Yeah. Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kinda kidding. Sorry, I <laughs> used up a lot of my energy just now. 
probably not going to be very fun to talk to. Thanks for visiting, though, Chris. And you too, Susie. <laughs> Seems like I need some more tests. So just gotta wait it out. They can't keep me down for too long, baby. Sooner or later, I'm busting out of here. Besides, your dad ain't much without his main man. What is it, Christmas? Look, Chris, can't say much, but Noelle might look like she has it all. But her mother, her mother, you know? Love her, but she's tough on her. Normally, I balance it all out, but I can't do much when I'm not there. But I'm gonna get better. I have to. Hey, Chris, she's a nice girl, huh? The hell are you taking her here for? Why don't you take her to the movies? Hey, yeah, the hell didn't we go to the movies, Chris? Yeah, and take me too while you're at it. Yeah, Chris, come on. Kettle corn, Chris. Big, don't skip out. Yeah, get on out of here and do something fun. Not same as before. Damn it all, Chris, you really love that sink, huh? That sink too, Rudy Zero. Don't worry, I'm gonna pull it back. You wait. I mean, I talked to you first, that's something. So, why do you collect creepy dolls? Hey, Noelle and her sister made that. Respect it. Noelle's sister? Hmm, something there, huh? But I guess we don't know what. Whoa, the hell is bringing you flowers? Hey, what's wrong with the married man getting flowers? So your, uh, wife gave them to you? Nah. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Chris's dad did. Not gonna try to understand this. Flowers? I'm trying to heal, man, not get hay fever. Should Chris tell him to stop? What? Hell no! When did I say that? <laughs> oh, Shiren. Looks like she's resting her voice. I should do that soon, too. But for now. The beads of the toy march on. Uh-oh, Alphys. Hell if I'm going any further. Already close enough to getting banned from school. Don't want to be banned from outside of school, too. That's a thing, right? Hi, Chris. Getting your project done? <laughs> oh, my bike. It's, uh, <laughs> totaled. I, um, I had a little crash. Uh... You see, there was this police officer, and, uh, it's complicated. How are you doing? Chris, it's no secret the, uh, police in this town are, uh, how do I put this? Just, um, eye candy, I guess? Oh, wait, that came out wrong. I mean, they're symbolic. They barely do anything. It's because of the mayor there. There. Uh, there isn't any crime. Makes me wonder if she even needs the police. Or if they're just... getting in her way. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying what you already know. After all, she's... your neighbor, right? Oh, how's your project going with... Uh, Susie? What? You went to the library? Together? With Noelle and Birdley? That's amazing, Chris! And, um, while you were there... This has nothing to do with me, but the Teen Zone seems to have some good anime reviews, you know? Not sure if you and the gang were checking that out as you studied. And next time you go, you might want to casually bring that up among your fellow teens. I, I know your dad liked Mew Mew too, at least. Again, nothing to do with me. <laughs> See ya. See you tomorrow, Chris. Uh, um, there's no school tomorrow, though. It's a beaten bike. The horn looks like it might give a honk of despair. Let me in. 
Where are the infamous dog burglars, the wet nose bandits? We were getting ready to sneak into that big house over the holidays, when we were attacked from the shadows by something merciless. Fearing for our lives, we all ran right into Officer Undyne's warm, loving arms, and she suplexed us all into the snow with our tails hanging in the air. Now we're in jail, but at least we're alive. Plus, that nice ghost keeps giving us incorporeally low-calorie treats. Then we all howl holiday songs together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make dog marriage, not dog jail. You skimmed a news article about Undyne. New police chief Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Though energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy. After Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force, there's no need to read anymore. No, I want to know. Give me the dirt on Dad. Oh no. I accidentally ended up as a police officer. Oh no. I can't quit because my cousins are relying on me. Oh, hey. Don't do anything illegal, please. Oh, sorry. Did I intimidate you too much? Oh, it's okay to do a little crime sometimes. Like if you eat candy off the floor. Even after five seconds, I won't arrest you. You can do a little crime as a treat. Photos of Chief Undyne and Deputy Napstabluke. Undyne is rescuing all of Caddy's family from a tree. Napstabluke is also stuck in the tree somehow. Blukey how. Well cared for flowers. Hey! Get out of the road! Ugh, sorry. Bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? No. Nothing to report, huh? At times like this, punks like you should be home playing video games. Ah, uh, there's a dark world. Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in the library? More are appearing? People might fall inside? <laughs> Listen, punk. <laughs> you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Freedom! H hey, wait! Mm, not again! Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminals. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady, is she your teacher? She kind of had an accident earlier with her, uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So, uh, give her this. You got a heart-shaped box of candies that says, Get Well Soon. It has, to your bike, hastily scrawled underneath the Get Well Soon. Look! Get Well Soon's all the store had. Open it and I'll arrest you. Look! I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me! I gotta go! You got the previously described box of candy with a note on it. Bye. Oh, jailbreak. I'll sound the alarm. Oh, yeah. I made the jailbreak alarm my mixtape. It's a nice beat to study or relax to while you escape from prison. Ballin'. Box of heart candy. It's not yours. Will that stop you? For now, yes, it will. Huh? Chris, do you have something for me? No. Um, okay. I <laughs> don't know why I thought that. Okay, here you go. Uh, huh? Chris, what is that you're giving me? Uh, a box of heart-shaped ch chocolates? Whoa, whoa, no! I can't accept that from you! What? It's from the police? You mean ch she's giving me this, um, um, get well soon gift to my bike? And, um, there's a note on this that says, open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I tell her I, uh, appreciate it. Okay, see ya. Let's go, Suze. All right, let's go.
Well, go in there if you want, but I'm staying here. Caddy's working there today. She hates me. So what if I took Jock Boy's hat once? I look cool. Jockington fans, they're crazy, man. I don't know if a hat would suit you, Suze. Just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Your family is weird. I know. Wish they'd be normal. Or at least more goth. What? Golden hair, starry eyes. She is the light. Laughing in the night. Taught her protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately, she slips into the darkness. Chris, you walk among the dark. Protect her. I'm Susie. I'm talking about Susie. No. Pure boy, heart of gold. Curiosity high, intelligence low. Fetches frisbees. Dress him up. Carry in a bag. Precious boy. Don't know why. Dad, mom, sister, ukulele, football games, soap operas, yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums, stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I studied a cult together. Incantation for silence. Find it. Tell me. To tell you the truth, I thought this was the post office, but by the time I realized, I'd already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still deciding for a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? Sorry, Anxiety Orange. A little caddy, she's doing us proud, working hard, supporting us, serving us pickles, terrifying us with their shape, trying to get us to leave. Proud of it. Whoa, Caddy, you go, girl. Show those customers who's boss, little lady. Kick their tush. Woo, beat them down. You got this. Ugh. Hey, hon, how did you like the hot chocolate? Well, I'm going to take it that means you enjoyed it. Take it easy, okay? I'm sure your brother will be back in no time. I didn't even drink it. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winter. This guy next to me, he is really bulked up. I admire that. This isn't supposed to be an errand, is it? It's like a horse with like a fish tail. I don't want to. I don't want to contemplate this. OMG, my little sis is so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made about her. Caddy's the best, Caddy's the best. She curses me every day, glares cause I'm in her way. Caddy's the best sister ever. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? Talk more. OMG, Chrissy, you're not gonna believe this. I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And like that green alligator evil neighbor girl, like invaded and started like playing my song with me. OMG. Like, it was so fun. <laughs> Wait, isn't she like my enemy? Don't talk. Wow, Chrissy, you're like in a rush, huh? Okay, don't get stuck in a tree. Mwah, mwah. Ugh, gross. Caddy's my friend, and I support my friends through thick and thin, long and short, cold and hot. Whatever shape the world takes, I'll be there. Inspirational. Oh, God. We can go in. Double ice pizza. Great. Ice Wolf, big customer. Ice Wolf, maybe only customer. Hi, nice cream guy. Wow, my coworker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but seeing him happy makes me happy, too. Oh, a customer! Would you like a blue soft serve? I would, actually. It's a soda dispensing machine. No. <laughs> Good idea. People put their mouth on those, you know. 
What? What? They do, right? Do you do it, Susie? You took a look at the flavors. Water, ice, double ice, bread, flaming hot cheese soda, gamer blood energy drink, juice, red flavor. Oh, I know what Birdly drinks. It's bread. The pizza sauce is boiling red. Burbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. Ah! I, the warrior, so show it the wizard's fist. Ugh. Try our new chocolate pizza. It melts in your pants, not in your mouth. Ugh. Little buddy, you aren't going to believe this. I've got a girlfriend. Asriel, you've got to tell Asriel right now. He's going to be so proud of me. Huh? What she look like? Oh, little buddy. How do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts? God, little buddy. She must be stacked. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell me more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it is uncouth, but look, look at this, god damn. It's several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Her camera is not of the highest caliber, but to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Little buddy, here to help hear about my eh, girlfriend? No. That's right. We don't need to say any more. Go ahead and tell Asriel right now. Sorry, but Roblox girlfriends don't count. At least there would be a real person behind it. This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Home is where the car is. I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. That's the trouble with cars. If you want to do donuts, you have to be prepared for jam. You didn't even know what a donut was this morning. You kids came out of the library, didn't you? Studying. How wonderful. Personally, I hate libraries, but... Libraries are outdated. We have things like newspapers now. We can go inside. That stuff? It's used. Half off. What is it? Trash. Oh. Oh no, I want a basket. You can't reach the top, rendering it impossible to get a basket. You'll never be able to buy something in this state. No. Sometimes the hoofed girl comes here, opens the freezer door, then stands in front of it, lost in thought. I guess she really likes the cold. Poor Waffles. It's a bunch of cards and heart-shaped chocolates. Get well soon. I'm glad your bike crashed. There are some car magazines on the racks. It might be fun to look at them, but there's other people around. Ugh. I see it's pizza, pinups, mangazine, hot and fresh cheese, pepperoni, just like in your dreams. Oh, that's too spicy. <gasps> hey, hey. Forget something? Why, uh, yes. I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory is not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> there is really egg on my face now, is there not? Eh, you're excused. Now it sounds as if you are egging me on. Egg on or egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> and don't forget me, your egg's husband. Uh, hello, Asgor. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I... I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if... Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> Oof. Um, so when Azriel comes home, 
Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Onky donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. Oof. You know what I want, Bone Man. Yep. Free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. <laughs> Don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know. Flowers. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yes, <laughs> I even keep them in glass. Uh, like that movie. Yes, it's... it's very similar to that movie. Well, uh, have a good one. <laughs> I'm trying! I'm gonna go home and cry now. Hey, Chris? Uh... Uh... Never mind. Various frozen bagels and treats. Hey, Chris, wanna see if we can fit inside? If you just crouch down under the waffles? Damn, think someone's looking. Yeah, I am the sick girl that looks at all the milks to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? Can your family not come in here while I'm looking at milk? Uh, I am too. I mean, I don't dig that far back, but I also look for the freshest one. It's a pile of eggs. You put the egg into the egg pile. Did you just, uh, reverse steal that egg? Seems like there's more eggs here than usual. My egg! It looks like a normal basket of fruit, but when you reach in, it's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. Oh, hang on. It looks like a normal palm tree, but it's chock full of useful groceries. Grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. Come on, Sans, take you to the fridge. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See? Jerky is candy. And, uh, peanuts, too. Actually, they're a legume. Peanuts? Jerky. Service! Awful. Hey, what's up? Um... Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You want to buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Hey... You the boss around here? Me? I'm just the janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me. Then that makes you the cashier. Nope. I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor's salary? Sorry, kid. The brother thing's gonna have to wait. How long? Maybe a day. Maybe another two years. Who's keeping track at this point? Take it easy. Knock, knock, knock. Faintly, faintly a trousel growing further away. No. No. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where do skeletons come from? That's a good question, little bunny. Hmm, that knocking. It's amateur. You've still got a long way to go. Yo, uh, Chris. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> oh, we're not hanging out if Susie's with you. Chris, Susie sucks. Why didn't you stop her? <laughs> you used to be cool, monster kid. No more. No more. This took longer than half an hour, but I don't care. <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear? That uh, guy at the pizza place? God, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was her name? Like, uh... <laughs> Pizza... Rina? <laughs> anyway, what? Did you, like, want to talk? Chrissy, like, guess what? 
Today I like went to the beach to play my uke and like guess who's already there? That copycat playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my god, cat on the beach. Grody. Did she like get lost looking for the litter box? So like I try to like play the same song too to you know assert my ukulele dominance and we end up ugh, get this playing the whole song together like oh my god who does this girl think she is she thinks she can just like harmonize with me ugh, i can't stand her oh i miss what she said i'll read it again OMG, it's like so sweet. You have a nasty, dirty little friend. But like, this is my polluted alleyway. So like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign that says like, no plus ones. Because like, okay. Look, Chrissy, come to visit me in my alley. <laughs> I'm a real alley gator, aren't I? Bad. Oh, like, you, like, just, like, like alleys? Oh my god, like, me too. I love alleys. Like, don't even think you could like them as much as me. Hey, Chris, this free milk? It's amazing. It just magically refreshes itself overnight. Susie? Ugh, don't tell Alphys. Um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses. Like, privacy much? God, living with Azzy made you weird. Made me weird. I love people dunking on Asgore. And don't get me wrong, I like Asgore a lot, like as a character, but well. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Oh, that wasn't dialogue, it was just... Ribbit, ribbit. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? My brother's too old to take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm aimless. Wish I had someone to whip me into shape. What? 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 If you're looking for Blueki, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else. Um. Yeah, actually. Fine. 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 Want to talk to someone else? Here. Oh my, someone's here to see me. It's you again, is it, darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? <laughs> As if somebody could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, <laughs> could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it to me by tomorrow? It would mean the world to me. Thank you. Oh. No. Then leave! 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 What about you? Me? 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 What have I got to say to you? Nothing. Like I'd even recognize a pathetic face like that. By the way, say hi to your dad for me. Wait, wait, don't do that. He doesn't know I... Nothing. Weird. I wanted to buy flowers, but the store's closed. The door around back's unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. Closed, Dad. There's a door behind the flower shop, but there's flowers blocking the way. Nah. It's a metal picnic table. Damn it, my fingers won't fit through the holes. Try from beneath, Suze. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Hey! Thought I told you to come alone. You know what? Hell if I'm getting involved in this. See ya. Hey! Hi for Potato Mouse! I missed you, you hear? <laughs> missed you all day! Did you miss me? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was missed! My existence being acknowledged feels good, you hear? You hear? You hear closely for a second? You're out, my friend, right? 
As my friend? Do you wanna... You hear a secret? Sometimes I hear a song at night. Just a little piece of a song, you hear? It sounds like it's coming from under the water. Deep. Do... Do you think someone's auditioning for my band? Oh, I'm about to make another friend. I can feel it, you hear? Do you want to you hear another secret? I think... Maybe... I've heard that song before. Coming from the sea. The whole thing. It's not a new song. But I can't remember. I can't... Can't remember, you hear? I'm going to investigate, you hear? Come back here tomorrow, you hear? Beauty is on the case. That's my name, right? See you, Mouse! Bye! Hey, Chris. So, uh... Do you do weird stuff like this every day after school? Oh, yeah. Um, so if you don't talk to Onion-san, or Beauty, as it were in the first chapter, um, they won't pop out there. Uh, but you, Chris and Susie will sit calmly by the water. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. I'm sure it was very expensive. There's a cat flap. It's locked. Somehow. It's an ornate gate. It appears to be locked. Come on, Suze, hoist me over top. Anyway, we're almost done. And I can call it an evening. It's your mom's van, but it's not purple with flame, so who cares? Chris, you going home? Uh, yeah, let's go. All right. Then... Guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Chris, how is studying with your... Why, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, uh I mean, I... Uh, Chris, I should um, probably get going and... I was going to bake a pie. Did you want any? Guess I can come over for a bit. Easily bribed. Feel free to come in, Susie. Oh, excuse me. I am Chris's mother, Toriel. Yes, ma'am. I remember. Oh, you do? And you are... Susie, are you not? Huh? You, um, remember my name, too? Of course. Miss Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is Alphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it... together? Uh, but I don't know how to... Do not worry, I can teach you. Okay. Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I am very happy you are friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she, uh, influences you, uh, leave the chalk alone, all right? Hands, uh, washed. Wonderful. Now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake it? Chris, you know how to make pie? The hell haven't you made me anything, dumbass? You pie-hoarding piece of... I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. Huh? Chris? Oh, you need to wash your hands, too? Then I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Um, we will? Wait. Chris, the phone is going. Would you mind getting it for me while I... Chris, why are you calling our house? Hey, what are those metal people shapes in the cupboard? Like, uh, handcuffs for a little guy's whole body? 
<laughs> Those are for gingerbread, Susie. Gingerbread men and gingerbread monsters, of course. Gingerbread monsters, huh? Cool. Gingerbread. Sounds like something Noelle would like. Hmm? Noelle? Uh, nothing. Mm hmm. She's sneaking sugar right out of the bag. Susie? What? My pie, my rules. Got it. Chris, no sneaking ingredients until you wash your hands. Don't worry, Chris. I'll sneak stuff instead. You wouldn't. Chris, this is not the time to sneak some chocolates. Chris, get me some at least. All right. No need for it? No need? Not even for the bathroom? Okay. It's the bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? Hmm. It started to run. It's making a lot of noise. Well, let us get the flower. So, that's... this bag? And you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have flour on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, eh? <laughs> Come on! Now, on to the next part. So, where the he heck is Chris? Oh, Chris, uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. I'm getting sleepy. Do you know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. Uh, <laughs> then, then I guess you'd be, uh, snoreal? <laughs> Snoreal! Snoozy and Snoreal! Uh, <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? Alright, where the hell is Chris? Toriel? The pie is nearly done. Oh, the sugar! Wait here a moment, I left it in the car. Okay! Chris, you're wasting so much water. There was no soap. They had to go to the store to get some more. Susie drank it all. Oof. Your hands are clean. But not your sins. Hey, Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. So, what's next? Oh, uh, the pie. We already worked quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um... Okay. Hello, Mockingbird. Then, I uh, guess I'll walk home. Oh, no, no, there's no need to do that. Oh, actually, 
Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um, if it's okay, then... Here, look at this. Our couch is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah! Splendid! I will make sure everything is in order. Thanks, Mom. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course! I didn't actually list this as a rhythm music game. This is one of the default tags on Twitch, and I don't know why. So, what the hell, a sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> hey, Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So, now what? I got it! Maybe between the pillows... here. There! Knew I'd find the remote in there. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When'd you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So, what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Petters? <laughs> Maybe I see the movies more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> it's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Rousey, Lancer, everyone? It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Rousey could do our homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Ugh, what if Rousey became a teacher's pet, though? Or not if. It just feels like a matter of time, honestly. Well, whatever. As long as he brings me an apple, too. What? Apple shampoo? No, I didn't drink any of that. I forgot to examine the bottle, but if you examine the bottle, it is lower than it was before, Susie. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. Gonna watch Monster Chopped. So the festival's coming up, right? That thing where the town becomes a carnival. <laughs> Stupid, right? But say you had to uh, take someone. Noel, or I'll say. Uh, you. Come on, Suze. Huh? Way to dodge the question, dumbass. I mean, if I went, obviously you'd be there too. That goes without saying, right? Look, let's just go back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. I always like them better than the giant human movies. Now this is something we can marathon! Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building bashing, car crunching action? Cause we are locked in. Got it? I better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> now let me just uh, get comfortable here. And... There. Figures. Susie fell asleep. That is some monster snoring. <laughs> yeah, Sue's being excited to hang out with friends is real good. Didn't even call her parents, huh?
What's up with that? Officer? Officer? Thank goodness. I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. And when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. Officer, if you could please come over. You will? Soon? Thank you. They're already asleep. Boy, well, that monster is taking its sweet time to destroy the city. Thanks a lot, Chris. Well, I have questions. I'm sure we all do. But we have to wait for whenever Chapter 3 comes out. Well, dang. So that was Deltarune Chapter 2. Mostly. Um, I will be returning to this on Friday. Because uh, there's a little more to show off. So I hope you don't mind. Oh, Lena, uh, Lena Rain also did the, uh, was the composer for Chicory, which I streamed a little while ago, if you weren't there for that. Good stuff. It was a ride, huh? The grin does look a little familiar, huh? The menacing face on a TV. Doesn't remind me of a menacing plant or anything. Ah, yes, the fun run. Excited and horrified for more. That's a good attitude to have. And now we wait for as long as it takes. Well, that was long. Thank you so much for sticking with me for that, everyone. I really appreciate it. Um, so I will catch you on Friday for a little more of this. And then I have a couple things. I have something lined up that I'd like to do. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, too, huh? In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful evening. I will catch you on Friday for more Deltarune. Bye-bye.